I would like to point your attention the new application node which focus on interoperability between different Android and iOS smartphones. This application node was released in February 2021 and it shows the re reports and comparison of different Android and iOS phones. The focus of testing was the basic functionality such as uh, discovery, connection and various GAT procedures and some more advanced application scenarios such as BLE pairing and measurement of data transfer. In fact, the application scenarios, that's something you can test with your own smartphone thanks to the BLE data throughput example, which is part of the official Cube package. And that's what I would like to show you right now. So the WB Nucleo is now flashed with the throughput application. And as you can see, it outputs some application traces in the terminal window via the virtual COM port. And we see the device is now simply advertising. Uh, I will open the STBLE toolbox application on my smartphone and connect to the device. The name of the device is DT DT server. Uh, in the traces, we can notice the connection interval is about uh, is exactly 45 millisecond, which seems to be an optimal value with regards to throughput. Uh, the bandwidth BLE service allow us to measure the speed of transfer in both direction. So we can start with the upload. So this is the direction from the phone to the WB. And we can see the measurement uh, every second. Uh, is about 77 kilobytes per second on average. And this is true for the two megabit phi. Uh, we can change the phi by pressing switch number two. And you see uh, the speed drops. We can also test the other direction. So now the data will flow from the WB to the phone. Uh, and we need to initiate that by pressing switch one and again we see a speed of about 43 kilobytes per second on one megabit phi and if we change the phi the speed will in increase to about 70 70 kilobytes per second so this is a nice and easy test uh, to measure throughput on your phone and if you inspect uh, the application node you will see the numbers vary quite significantly depending on the on the phone and also on the version of the OS